We're going to test the continuity on the new one. So again, the third pin should only be the one with continuity. And you see our fourth pin doesn't have continuity. Our fifth pin, neither our second pin or the first one. Only the third pin should. And if we go back to the original, the fourth also has, which means this is a bad chip. So we're going to change this chip, put in a new one, and then put it all back together and fire it up. So cleaned up the holes, and this is where the TDA 2050 is going to go. So you see we've got our new TDA 2050, and the holes just match up just like that. And then the backing, the heat sink will go on like that. If you're going to do this, make sure that insulating piece completely covers the back. There's no contact between the chip and the backing plate for the heat sink. So we're just going to hold that into place. Make sure it's straight. I've refilled my torch with some butane. I'm just going to let that tip heat up. Again, using a well ventilated area. And then all we're going to do is retin that. Good and clean. Okay, we've got our electrical solder. Now we're just going to carefully Okay, so we're just putting the second screw in the heat sink for the TDA 2050. Make sure it's nice and snug. Okay, now we have So, the screw that mounts the chip to the heat sink has a couple of things, but the most important is this little collar here. It's a little plastic washer that goes right inside. It goes right inside the hole of the chip so that there's no actual contact between the screw and the chip. It's resting on that plastic washer and it's like an isolation washer. So we're going to put the nut on there. And we're going to hold the nut. Good. Now one of the tests that we can do is now that we've got it back together to make sure there's no continuity between the legs and the backing plate and the heat sink. So we make sure so we've got obviously there's continuity there, it's connecting the same piece of metal. But what we want to do is test this back plate. Make sure there's no continuity to the ground, and there's not. But there is to that third pin again. And the fourth pin does not have, and the fifth pin does not have. 
only that third pin which is good it's a good chip so here we are with our TDA 2050 replacement chip mounted back into the board you can see that insulation piece on the back and if we flip it over you can see the bottom with the heat sink back in and all of the solder connections have been made and they look good so next up is to reinstall this into the chassis and give it a once over and reconnect it the, the heat sink screws in from the underneath with two screws and we're not going to do that just yet we're going to reconnect the power on this board one of the things I mentioned earlier was the fact that the power coming in from the plug goes to the switch first before going to the fuse and I'm going to check the schematics and actually send a question to a couple of people I follow on YouTube uh, Brad the Catologist Terry at D-Lab they both are really experienced in these things and I'm just going to ask them if I should make that switch over with this particular amp. So we've got the power connected and now we're going to just test a couple of voltages to make sure before we plug on the secondary to the board. So we're going to take a reading from ground to one post of the fuse and we have 122 volts on both sides of the fuse. So now we're going to test to see how many volts we have on the secondary and we've got 18.35 on one side 18.33 on the other and if we do both across this should be about 36 and a half and we get 36.6 .6. so we're good there so let's turn it off speaker lead out of the way. We're going to plug the board on. Okay, with this replacement of the TDA 2050, hopefully this doesn't blow as soon as I hit this power button. Oh good, and we've got light. Sweet. We've got a light on the front. Okay, everything looks good. So let's get this back in the amp and reconnect it to the speaker and plug it in. in now I can clean this up later I've just put the nut hand tight back on the input so that I can plug in let's get moment of truth oh. we got power now let's back on and cleaning it up. If you like this video, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications on new video uploads. Thanks for watching.